name of a good tutorial I have brought you into my bathroom with me to wash my hair oh my god and I feel like my neck is about to snap but yes yeah, so I'm gonna do this video you know <laughs> you can see me in my house shirt and my house trousers honestly you don't actually want to see these pants they're so bad and they're all jogging bottoms okay so you have seen that I can I just say please if you do appreciate me like getting down and dirty washing this hair and um, do let me know it's helpful I'd be very happy to know but going back to my original point earlier I have my diluted conditioner here and I would normally dilute my shampoo as well but I can't find a bottle in my entire house to dilute the shampoo into before pouring it into my hair but it's fine I think my hair is pretty dirty anyway so um, it's okay I will dilute the conditioner so I'm gonna get started okay so the shower is on first thing I do is get all my hair sometimes I do this in the actual shower um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do it over the bar so you can see. So, I wet my hair with the shampoo like so. Warm water. And this is just like, first rinse. Yeah. Okay, so I have rinsed my hair. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my shampoo, pour some, about a tablespoon in my palm. My hair is a bit dirty, so I will be doing this step a couple of times. But hey, I lather in my hands and I don't put the shampoo down the length of my hair. I just shampoo my scalp like, you know, in a flat motion, like I'm palming my scalp, like so. As you can see, it's not really lathering up. That's primarily, I think, because it's a sulfate-free shampoo, although you do get some that do lather up. Um, so I'm going to keep adding a bit more of the shampoo. But as you can see, I'm only really like doing my roots and I'm using, not scratching my hair, I'm using the um, what is this? My finger bed to kind of scrub my scalp really. Guys, so the hair has been washed now and it's time for me to condition it. Um, gosh it feels so heavy and I feel like I'm getting a bit of a headache now um, because my braids are quite heavy. I don't normally wash my hair over the bath, it's just for the sake of this video. I would normally do it in the shower, standing back that way, so that I don't feel the weight of the water so much. So this is a tip, if you get headaches um, or if you're stressed out washing your hair over the basin over, or over a bath, don't do it, just do it in the shower. Um, okay, so now it's time for me to um, put my conditioner in this is the mixed up conditioner and I literally you know this is one of the benefits of diluting it I can just pour it all over my hair and it's not really that much work so this is how I do it Okay guys, I think that is it. The conditioner is all the way down the length of my hair, focusing on obviously where my hair ends, and then naturally it will just flow to the bottom of the braid. So that's it guys for my washing. What I'm gonna do now is have a shower, and then when I finish, I will do my oil routine, um, and that's it. Sometimes, depending on how lightly I dilute the conditioner, if it's very, very light, I just give my braids a very light rinse 
Um, so that way some of the conditioner stays in and acts like a leave-in conditioner. But then again, don't forget what I said earlier about making sure that your conditioners and stuff are diluted to avoid matting. Um, 